Today I'm going to show you how to hit your forehand deeper and to avoid giving short balls to your opponent on a silver platter. When we think depth, we automatically go towards, oh, I got to hit higher, right? I got to make more of a letter C. I got to get under the ball and swing up. It's counterintuitive, but you actually want to do the opposite. And in advanced level tennis, we are no longer making a circle from this way, like a Ferris wheel, but more, we're making a hula hoop around our body where getting through the ball and then staying at this level or what I call swinging across the tabletop is what's really going to increase our racket head speed, pop, and ultimately result in a deeper ball. So I'm going to show you how to do this. The first thing that you want to do is always set up at the height of the ball. There's no point in setting all the way up here for a ball that's at our knees. So we're going to simplify our take back and have some swing efficiency by making a simple unit turn to the height of the ball. Okay, we're going to shorten things up and keep the racket on the outside of our body. Extra movements are going to kill you. They're going to cause you to hit late. You're going to lose power and you will not be able to get the ball past the service line. So the first thing after we have our no backswing backswing is we are going to go directly towards the ball. We're going to delete half of our swing and pretend that there's a brick wall behind us that's going to smash our nice racket that we spent our hard earned money on. So when we go with the body first, we're going to feel like we just get slightly under the height of the ball. Okay, you don't have to go all the way down here and brush up to heaven. All you have to do is feel like you go independently with the body first, have the racket come behind you as there's little tension in your arm. Okay, three out of 10 at most. We're letting the body do most of the work and we're gonna come, we're gonna go outside to outside and then through contact point, we're gonna feel like we just smash through the glass and stay along the table. Finishing below our non-hitting shoulder, not above, okay? Trying to swing higher and get more height is only gonna cause you to scrape the ball and give it a glancing blow. And you'll often find that your short balls also lack that sound and that pop that advanced tennis players may have. Or maybe, you know, the guy who beats you at the round robin match play every weekend. So all you have to do is basically fix your swing path. You need to swing around your body instead of up and over, okay? You gotta stop making loops and start making a hula hoop instead. And I guarantee you that doing this will help you hit harder and deeper. And now just a tip, because when you do this, um, you might find that the ball flies out and that could mean that you are not rolling over the ball with your wrist in order to get top spin. So at contact point, you wanna feel like you cover the top of the ball and relax the wrist to get up and over it, okay? All the good players do this, and the faster you do this, the better, okay? The more racket head speed, the more revolutions we can get on the ball, right? If you know what the Magnus effect is, the ball's gonna go boom, okay? And doing this in combination with a more linear, direct forwards swing, it's gonna cause you to have a ball that doesn't float too high, so, you know, your opponent can just take it and crush you, but it will travel fast. It will also have speed and spin. That's going to boom, jump up and give your opponent a really tough time. Okay. It's going to be hard to handle your new forehand. If you take the action steps that I suggest, if you like what you learned here, I recommend taking the next step and going into my online course because it takes what we've learned and it builds on it and we'll show you how to have power and consistency for the rest of your life. In any event, thanks for tuning in and use what you've learned to modernize your game.